What is up everybody, Mana here with your daily StarCraft 2 content. We are closing in on 5000 MMR with no upgrades to Grandmaster, so no warp gate, no blink, no storm, no charge, no upgrades I can make. Let's start the episode, shall we? And the first match is going to be against third player named Nickname. Is this a fast Nick or is this just a normal player? 4.9k MMR. We did play a couple of PVCs already and I have failed to win a late game PVZ in one of the previous episodes, which does hurt me a bit because I did not realize how bad carriers are in the late game without any upgrades. I'm, I'm so used to seeing carriers destroying the armies, you know, completely destroying uh, the armies with the upgrades because they're so, so powerful. They benefit so much from the upgrades. And then <laughs> I had like the, the dream army that I wanted to have, the mass carriers voided with a couple of archons. Obviously, I would like to have a couple of storms there, but I cannot have that with the no upgrade challenge. And the guy just flies in with the Corruptors, kills everything. I barely kill a Corruptor. <laughs> I, I need to rethink my strategy in the late game. I think maybe a Tempest Archon might be a little bit better. Uh, I also could use some High Tempers for potential Viper feedback if the Zerg is going... Oh my god. <laughs> this guy's even proxy hatching me. <laughs> Why did I do that? Oh my goodness, I pulled, uh, pulled all the probes. Okay. Let's not panic, let's just go for the double gate. What is with the Zergs cheesing me again? On this level, like, it's just not good. Like, it, I, I don't care. The, the fact that I did... Uh, pull all the probes to, to one of the middle eyes can be quite bad for me. But I don't think it's going to be that bad. Uh, I made a pylon a bit too early. Look at this, I, I'm not using this pylon now. I should have been making a salad. And now because of the spider, I'm, I'm, I'm not making any probes. A slight mistake in the builder, but I think that's that's all because of the freaking probe pull. That's right, I'm not too worried here. I am not too worried. Okay, he's gonna try to make a hatchery now with this drone. Is he going to cancel this? Probably not, right? Okay, he'll try to make a third. Let's just make a second gas then. We're gonna be making another salad. And we're going to be making adepts from this as well. I should have probably... I should probably make a pylon here just to block him off, right? Let's do that. Look, he's going to be making some units out of the proxy hatchery. How is this going to go? Okay. Now what? Oh, it's going to be links. Okay. I have the adapt to deal with that later on. It's a, it's very important to just kill the hatchery. Okay, let's not lose any probes. The adapt will take care of the links, and the zealots will take care of the hatchery. This is a lot of money that he's losing. Oh, he wants to get a queen, huh? He wants to make a cryptomer. I will not allow him to do that. Let's target fire this. Keep making another hatchery. The queen is dead. Okay. Let's just not lose the zealot here, huh? Would be nice. Don't surround me! Okay, all good. Let's kill the larva as well. And I can move out. I need another pylon because... We'll probably lose this pylon soon. That was a big investment from him. However, it's not like I'm doing extremely well myself. I, I'm doing a big investment myself. Double gateway, target and everything. I need another pylon. So my, my, uh, my next is going to be extremely late. However, I have an Oracle on the way. The Oracle can really give me the safety net of protecti protecting these units. He's, he cannot really have this many links. Remember, he invested into a queen and uh, and lots of links on, the, on my side of the map. So if he has a lot of links here, that means his economy is so much worse. But I haven't started my nexus yet, so... Let's see. Is he going to try to overpower? Okay, he wants to defend. Okay, he's making drones. Okay, this hatchery is dead, I think. He's making a queen here. Just kill a couple of drones. It's very important for the zealots to uh, keep uh, attacking the hatchery. Okay, that queen we can surround. Oracle doesn't need to activate. You can see how little units he has, right? Oh, wait, I cannot make warp gate anyway. So the hatchery is going to die. I will make a full wall of hero because I think he's going to just run in with the links. So I'll send the oracle. Oh, he has two queens here. That means the queens are not protecting the middle line in the main base. He doesn't have a spore there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he has, okay. But it's not done. Yeah, we can complete the wall off now. Let's just do it again. 
Okay, here we go. And the, the queens are coming here, right? So he had two queens like on the offense. Where is it? He still doesn't have a hatchery, so... I can just use the oracle here. And the cheese doesn't work. He's coming back to defend. I can kill the queen maybe here. Uh, he's going to have a transfer at any moment now. Uh, let's just trade with the links, I suppose. That's better. He's gonna come back with the links. I don't want to fight with the queens there, so I'll just back off a little bit more. And here, we can fight. The oracle is going to provide extra damage. It's fine. Let's just trade the adept across. So I lost only a zealot here. Perfect. Pretty much. What did I lose? A zealot? And then free. Free of what? What did I... I don't even remember what I lost. I definitely lost a zealot here. Maybe probes? Maybe cancel? I'm not sure what I lost <laughs> exactly, but... That's it. That's uh, game number one. is a proper victory. The investment of the Zerg uh, for the cheese didn't pay off. And we're closing in on that 5,000 MR yet again. Probably next game, if I win, will be that. <laughs> That's a cool nickname. Barcodes are... Well, I cannot say that word, I think, in a YouTube video. But you guys could read that. <laughs> Someone really doesn't like barcodes, huh? I get the point. Alright, uh, what is this? A, a Terran player, right? Okay, a Terran player. We haven't had a PvT in, in some time. I, I had like a PvT infestation where I had like two episodes in a row uh, with, with Terran, but this time... We had like lots of Zergs and uh, I think a couple of PvPs? I don't remember exactly, like the, all the episodes are kind of blending in already. I've been doing this for what, 12 days already? Is it the 12th episode? Oh my god. Such an awkward moment when I'm talking about the episode. I think it's the 12th episode. Today. <laughs> the days are blending in together. Okay, let's scout. What is he doing? I've kind of gotten used to not uh, making any upgrades. Like, I had one quick moment where I wanted to start work it today, right? But I didn't complete it or anything. It didn't go for a long time. It, it's a bit bad because uh, I, I did play some standard games. And I think this challenge that I'm doing is the only challenge so far that is kind of decreasing my skill level a little bit. Because... Upgrades are good for you, you want to invest into them at the right time and so on. And here I'm kind of not doing any of that. And I can keep forgetting about upgrades in my standard normal games. And while in the other challenges, I don't know, like the Zealots only, Stalker only, I don't know, uh, mana units only or others. Uh, I was able to maximize the potential of my units with the upgrades. And here I'm kind of just making sure that my units are bad, you know, <laughs> and I'm getting used to that. That's not a good thing. It's not like I'm terribly bad now or something like that. It's just this this challenge doesn't really develop me too much. While the other challenges would at least help me a bit. It's a marine first, no reaper, so that's good. I kind of described this challenge. Like I, I liked one of the comments in the previous video that this is a pretty much like the standard challenge, standard gameplay without the standard. And uh, I kind of agree with that, because this challenge feels like the standard play. So you guys can kind of... I would say you guys can uh, kind of um, learn how to play with the standard stuff, like how to react to cheeses and so on, with, because you guys have the same thing. But you can also add the upgrades to that. And then it's going to be just fine for you. You can kind of learn about that. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys do agree with that, but I, I've been enjoying playing this challenge a bit having the potential of all units while decreasing the potential of my late game which I think late game should be my biggest strength, right? because the longer the game goes, the better I am going to be than my opponent okay, we can go back with the probe, let's scout with the adept kind of want to go for like a quad adept oracle that's the plan I'm not, I'm not using my chronobos very well but I think I want to save it for oracles depending on what I see with the adept Let's start with an oracle. He's not letting me in. I think I can use it on probes now, since I see he's staying somewhat defensive. It's not reactor factory, so I can do just that. Pick a pile on here. Look, he's moving out with the marines. A risky move, my friend. Risky move. Hello. I can damage some of the marines here. He really wanted to. Snipe one of the adepts. Okay. Oh wait, that was more marines coming, right? I'm not dumb. I think I think I saw more marines coming. This could be another barracks, or was it from reactor? Huh. 
the Oracle will give me the scouting. I think it's a double barracks. He has so many Marines. It probably will be double. Double barracks. Yeah, triple racks even. If with our freaking eBay already. That's not good uh, for me. Not sure if I can defend this. He has a turret already. He was not, he's going to have a lot of units, but it's probably going to be pure marines. He's only mining with one gas, right? Nice turret positioning. Okay, the two oracles will be helpful. But I think I need a sentry. Wait, am I not making a pile? I'm not making a pile for like million years. Oh my goodness, I'm about to be attacked. Oh, I'm in such a bad spot now. I am in such a bad spot. Why didn't I make a pylon? I thought I thought I made one. Okay, it's one Marauder. To save these adepts. Oh no! I'll just recall these guys. Okay, recall. I also need a stasis shop, I think. I might actually just die here. It's it's fairly likely. I need a stasis. This Oracle is not going to be super useful. I hope he's going to walk into that. Please, please walk into that. I don't think there's another other way for me to win the, the push. With Warbeam it would have been a bit easier. And? He might be scared. Okay, oh, he's moving in. Okay, I have the Immortal. With the Immortal it's much better. Yes, yes! Oh, that's perfect. Oh my goodness, this is the perfect stasis word. I love it. It buys me so much time. It buys me so much time and I can fight in the battery range now. With additional units. Oh, this is so good. Let's get under the robot. And okay, let's go. Kill the marauder. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. He has so much. He has so much here. Wait, what? I'm dying. No? Wait, not dying? Battery! Please! He killed the pylon! I'm dead anyway. The Terran army, man! I have nothing. I have no units. He just has a free Rex. I didn't take into consideration that he could just go in and snipe the pylon. Okay, I have at least a second robot. Maybe I can work something out here. I, have, I will have some units now. I did lose the third base, though. I hit the gas, and I lost a lot of probes doing that. But I'm still alive. Not alive and well, but alive. Okay, this is not a good fight for him. This is not a good fight. But we can kill this, right? No? Marines? What? They're so strong. What the hell? I have a Colossus coming out soon. Please, the Colossus survive. The Colossus is going to deal with the Marines very well. There's not too many Marauders. I like that he's not going for probes. This is still not good for me. But it can be good. Okay, I like how he's getting with the Marauders at the front. So it's much harder for me to deal with something here. And what are going to kill the Colossus here? Was... What? Man! My units suck. He has won one already. Why is he not going for probes though? Okay, maybe now? Third time to charm? There's more Marauders. I think I just need to pull the probes here. Come on. Come on. Man, my units are actually garbage. Without the upgrades. Please, survive this time. He keeps rallying. Okay, I will defend this time, but I'm so far behind. It's actually incredible. It is actually incredible how far behind I am now. <laughs> if I win this game, guys. You have to crown me the champion of StarCraft 2, actually. This strat is actually so good versus what I, what I was doing. I will have two Colossi. I just need to make like disrupt. I need to have like godlike disruptor shots and sentries to protect my uh, my army. I need the battery here as well at the front because he's going to come up the next uh, set of army. I need an observer to see exactly what kind of situation I am in. But I'm extremely dead now. I'm extremely dead. Only a miracle can save me. And I'm known to do miracles. But the thing is, 
his miracles are happening soon too because he will have medivac soon and his army is going to be twice as strong okay, please please don't drop me just attack me at the front okay be a man and attack me at the front don't backstab me please that's the only way i can win he's already moving out he was one one probably third base done Fourth base on the way! <laughs> oh, this is great. Hello. Oh, he's attacking me. He has an armory as well. I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I will just tap out. No, there's no way I can win this. He has so many marauders. He's gonna drop. I'll recall. Okay, he's gonna come back. He has only Marauders here, so maybe there's hope. Nope. I don't know what... Oh! That's only my drop he doesn't pay attention to. Hello. Okay, we clear, cleared that up, but... Man. I have absolutely nothing in this game. I cannot even make upgrades. He's gonna have four bases? What do I, I, I Like, I need Disruptors. The Disruptors are my only chance. Disruptor, Phoenixes, Carriers, Tempest, I don't know. Without upgrades, it's gonna be incredibly difficult. Let's just make it Tempest. I need to camp. Like, that's the only thing I can do. I cannot move out, to, out on the map ever. If I ever max out, then maybe. I need Forge or Cannons. I need to have an Oracle. I don't know, here? Spread my observers around. I need to camp. Like my life depends on it, and it kinda does. I have four disruptors, three disruptors. Okay. I can catch this medivac, which is nice, but I cannot kill it. I cannot kill it. I don't have the firepower. I had another Stargate. Okay, we're we're camping and I don't give a shit. We're making cannons. We're hoping the turn is going to kill itself. I only have two phoenixes here. Oh, he's dropping again. Can I have another phoenix, please? There we go. I make one more in order to... Defend, it, uh, defend the base. There we go. Okay, it's not gonna do, any, do anything here. It's fine. He has two two, he has two two. <laughs> he makes a mule! He knows. He knows I'm dead. Okay, I'm making Tempest now. Okay, can we clear this? I need, like another base, that would be nice. It's gonna have like insane amount of army. How do I even deal with Vikings? You guys tell me. How do I deal with the mass amount of Vikings that he's going to have? We can kill this Medivac. That's nice. His army is gonna be insane. He has lots of marauders though. Okay, okay, disruptors, please. Disruptors, please. Disruptors, please. That's a start. That is a start. What? I need to recall them. Ah! Okay, we're alive. That was a good start. It's not over, but I need I need balls like that. He's gonna go and cancel this base. That's okay, I have another one. Here. Just cancel. Oh, I didn't cancel it on time. Man, my army is garbage. Okay, Tempest. I need more Tempest. I need to tag this army again. If I can make some cannons here, that would be lovely. Oh, I lost the Widow! Oh, I lost the Oracle! My only... My only vision. Please move here. Okay, we're making more tempest. He's moving to the to this side of the map. I'm gonna need some batteries. This is the most obnoxious proto style to play against, by the way. But I, without upgrades, I'm not sure how well I can do. Okay. Oh, I lost the observer. I still have tempest here. Like the leverage don't scare me that much. Right? Huh. 
ambitious move right there okay okay i think i think we're we're not necessarily back but we are in a fighting position now still no one one uh here and here we're in a fighting position now he still has an incredible advantage over me need more pylons and this base at the front would be nice as well to take. Uh, he's making lots of Vikings. Okay, I need I need Archons to deal with that. Stalkers somehow as well. I need to hide myself. Okay, maybe I can snipe one of the units. His army is like tiny. Okay, but he doesn't have like the overpower number, I think, yet. Yes, okay, that's good. We're alive. Yes, I think we killed the Liberator there. We need the Templar Archives. No! Please. Please. Okay, we're alive. I need more Tempest. Where are my Stargates? He's backing off. I need to make my, more pylons here. Reinforcements are coming. It's so hard to control this army on my side. Because its quality is so low. Uh, he has plus 3 on the Vikings already. And this guy's upgrades are insane. Actually insane. Okay, I need more cannons here. Can I transfer some probe? I need to use the chronobus as well. I have 10 archives. Oh, that's a big boom. That's another big boom. But is the boom big enough? I'm not sure if this is this is enough. Templars are going to help. But I'm not sure if they're going to help enough. If another Stargate. To re hotkey my army. With the amount of Vikings that he has, it's, incre it's incre incredibly hard to deal with the army that he has. As I can see, my, my army is just dying to everything. I don't know if landing the Vikings is the place here. Oh, he's landing the mules! He's actually landing the mules. Okay, then. I need more gateways, I think. He's gonna come to this side now. We're defending this part now. It's not like my army got any, bigger, any better. I don't like this. I don't have any Vikings left. Uh, any... Ah, any Tempest, I think that's it. Yeah, like, like I said, I have nothing to do with the Vikings. Look at this, they die so quickly. He's wonder mewling me more! <laughs> Well done, my friend. Well done. Is he well played? Well played. He's fully maxed out. Taking all the bases. Ah, that free rex really owned me there. Really owned me. Big time. Alright, another Protoss versus Stern. Man, I can't believe the, the free rex owned me this hard. It's so hard to, to deal with that. With, this, with the strategy that I did. It was a perfect counter. He, like... He managed his macro very well. Like, his macro was lackluster, the previous guy. But his macro was very good. He consistently up uh, upgraded his units. He consistently expanded. And I was so far behind that I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I did fight. 
I did fight, but it was just not enough. It, like, I, I have nothing to do with the mass amounts of Vikings later on with uh, upgraded bio. With Storm, I could have something to deal with them because they clump, tend to clump up. But without Blink Stalker, without Storm, Vikings are countering everything in the air that I have. And of course, without the air armor and, uh, air, uh, and attack upgrades. For me, it's not only about Blink and Storm. That's a cool game, though. Definitely, the guy deserved to win the previous one. Even though he was kind of bad manner with the with the mother mules, but I always take it in a in a good fun. I never understood the hate of like mother mules. Like, get out of the game. Like, I don't I don't mind this. You know, like you you won the game, mother mules. I like you're showing him how how much you beat him. I, I never understood why people didn't like mother mules. He's blocking here. He doesn't want uh, me to see what he's doing. He's probably going to lose this SV. Oh, never mind. Okay, is this a Marine first or Reaper? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, it's a Reaper first, since uh, it's, it takes uh, such a long time. But this could be a double Reaper. I think it's like a free Rex Reaper or something. I don't think this is a single Barracks Reaper. Because why else would he build a Supply Depot so quickly, right? So I'm gonna start with a Stargate. That will give me an advantage over the, the Reaper player. If he's indeed going to be massing Reapers. Ro going Robo in this situation would be the worst case scenario. The bad thing is I cannot have a battery in my middle line. I need to kind of start walling in here. So he cannot... Uh, he cannot freely jump into the main base. But it will take some time before I'm able to do that, so I probably I need to invest into a battery in the natural. I think that's the better case here. Let's do that. Make a battery. I'm still expecting it to be three or uh, two or three Rax Reaper. Once the battery finishes, it's going to be easier. I don't want to move out of the Adepts now, because I, I risk losing one, even though I would love to gather some information if my opponent is expanding, if I'm correct about the double Rax Reaper. But well, since he hasn't shown his free sweeper yet, I think he's just massing them. Kind of want to block this area here, but I don't have any buildings to block it with. I don't want additional gateways in this situation. What is he doing? Five reapers should be arriving soon now. Okay, it's just a double gateway. Sorry, double gas opener, not mass reaper. Okay, I don't mind this. He's going to split the reapers to the main base. Yeah. I'll kill them with the Oracle. And the Hellion to the natural, probably. Yeah. That's the very common move to do. I'm well familiar with that. I can move the Oracle across the map now. Okay. So it was not the Mass Reaper. Uh, it was like a weaker version of Double Gas opening, I think. Because he made a Supply Depot here so early, he delayed his, I think, second Barracks? Uh, sorry, second... Uh, Gas a bit? Wait, it's a one base, no? It is one base. Oh my goodness. Do I need a robot versus this? I think I do. And I need three gateways as well in total. Hmm. I need to counter attack. Hit the gases. Okay, he's going to be moving out, I guess, with Stim? No, he has no... Okay, we can kill the tank, maybe? Oh, that's so big. Killing the or uh, the tank with an oracle. That's insane. Insane value right there. I need some stalkers to try to micro against what is he doing. I'll try to, like, shave off any kind of units that I can for free. Oh, yes. I can always recall that. I'm buying myself time. This is not like, oh, I need to deal economical damage. No, no, it's just buying time. So he's retreating with his entire army. If I shade out, I cannot shade out, but I can recall this. And now I bought myself, look, enough time to have a robot finished, additional oracles. The bad thing is that he gets more army as well, and my army doesn't get better in quality, but at least it gets it's, uh, it gets better in a quantity. Maybe I need disruptors to deal with the siege tanks here, but I think it's fine if I just mass amount of units. He's sending a, 
a marine first to not get uh, into a stasis ward, which is nice. See if I can catch some reinforcements, maybe. Any marine that I can kill, any sea snake I can kill, it's gonna be great. I can kill a tank as a reinforcement as well. They're gonna be arriving in my base soon. My, my units really need to walk out now. I need to force him to siege. I think. He's sieging up now. Okay, so my units are going to have enough time to walk out. Let's create another round of units. Okay. Oh, he's fighting into re battery range. Wait, no. It's not a battery range. Oh, I thought it's in the battery range. Oh. That's not good. This one is. Let's do this. Oh. Wait, what? Am I losing? These things are pretty good, huh? That's fine, that's fine. Right? He's still on one base. I need to catch the reinforcements with the Void Ray. Maybe I can kill the Siege Snake here? Try to, like, buy myself time. Let's go. Void Ray. Okay. He's gonna buy... Uh, try to kill the Void Ray. Come on, Immortal, move! Okay. We've done it. The Void Ray was actually so crucial here. The Voider was absolutely crucial to buy myself time and the position. Nothing he can do now. Oof, that got close. Even though I was like destroying him and uh, buying myself so much time with the Adepts and so on, it got real close for a moment. Oh, wait, I lost the Oracle. What? It doesn't matter anyway. GG. It, it was very close to, to working. Because I don't have the warp gates to instantly reinforce to my army. I also was supply blocked for the for a long time in a in a crucial moment of the game. Oh, that was a difficult hold. One base shouldn't be this difficult for me to hold, but I made it a little bit harder for me. Because I thought the the, the front battery that I had was in range of a super battery, but it wasn't. So my mistake on on that part, and that almost cost me the game. But we don't break 5,000 MMR in this episode. Maybe next time. It was close. It, it was close. But yeah, we got another loss under my belt. As we get closer to Grandmaster, the games are becoming much more difficult with upgrades. Uh, without upgrades, sorry. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great rest of the day. Take care and bye-bye.